Welcome to the overview video of the fourth release of Inventory Alpha. I want to start off by showing off our overhauled development roadmap, which contains detailed information on the content and dates of future releases. We have also set a date for the release of Inventory Beta. It's coming out on the 8th of September. The roadmap is linked in the description of this video. We can see that the focus of this release was to develop a major new feature, a flexible and powerful templating system. If you find yourself duplicating a specific sample because you want to reuse the format and custom fields it has, you will find templates to be well suited for your needs. By creating a template from an existing sample and editing it, you can adjust the exact structure you want to reuse for future samples, ensuring consistency across your samples, and ensuring any required fields, such as fields required for safety or regulatory purposes, are always included. Let's see templates in action. Here I have a sample which I have added custom fields to, a concentration and a treatment. I want to be able to have the choice to create a new sample that has these custom fields by default. I click on Create Template. I can give the template a name. I'll keep it to the default. I don't want all of my samples to have a concentration of 0 0.5 by default, but it makes sense for treatment to have a default value of the sample has not been treated. I click on Create Template, and that successfully creates the template. Now, when creating a sample, I'll have this template available to pick from. I can use the arrows to navigate if I have many templates. If I'm not sure I picked the right template or want to refresh my mind of which fields the template provides, I can click on the info button. Once I've selected this template, I can fill in the value of these fields for this specific sample, and we can see the fields which have been pre-populated with the default values. I'll save this sample. Now, imagine I've decided I wanted to update the template. Perhaps I want to change the name or the default value of some fields, or add more options to a choice field, or even add a brand new field. You can always browse templates by clicking on the sidebar entry for them, or making a search and filtering the results by template. But in this case, let's pretend I don't remember the template's name. So, I'll make a search for the sample that's based on the template I want to add fields to. On the sample view, I'll click on the info button for the template, then click on the global ID link of the template, which will open it. We can see a summary of all of the fields of this template, as well as a list of samples based on this template. After clicking on Edit, I can change the subsample alias, which is the name that subsamples that originate from a sample using this template will have, as an alternative to subsamples, as well as what unit type and default scale the sample should use. Under Fields, you can change the name and default value for a field, as well as move the field up and down the list. By clicking on Add New Field, I can specify a name and choose a field type from a comprehensive list. Let's go for choice field. I can add values and choose a default value for this field as well. Note that after saving the template, existing samples based on that template are not automatically updated. We can update existing samples directly after saving by clicking yes on this update existing samples pop-up. However, let's not do that just now. Let me first show you how to update individual samples to the newest version of a template. If I go back and view the sample that is based on this template, and open the template information, I can see that the sample is still using an older version of the template. I can click on Update to update the sample specifically. We get confirmation that the change was successful, and can see that the fields have been updated. If we wish to instead update all of the existing samples, we can do so by opening the template, clicking on Info, and then choosing Update Samples, then Confirming. That's it for this thorough overview of templates for this release. You will notice some other general changes we've made this release as you navigate the interface. 
They are described in the Inventory Hub in detail, which is linked in the description below. We'd love to hear your feedback on these changes and what you think of templates. Thanks for watching and until next time.